vertical approach in order to decide the domain and the range. So here we will cover different functions but we will start with a constant function. What is constant? Constant is any number. It can be 5, it can be 3, it can be negative 5, it can be 22 or 7, any number. So what is the shape of a constant function? The shape is a straight line here and it is given by the green line here. So you just take a ruler and draw a straight line. So this is a constant function. But make sure you label your x here and this one label as fx. So what is the domain for a constant function? The domain for a constant function is negative infinity to infinity and for the range is c note here is use set notation sketch the graph of fx equals to 3 hence find the domain and range so this one is fx equals to 3 and by now you should know this one is a constant right so which means it's just a straight line right? so we have to sketch so first one we draw the so label this one as x and label this one as fx so this one is 0 or origin where is 3? 3 is somewhere up here right and you label your functions so fx equals to 3 set up so hand finds the domain and range so what is the domain? domain is negative infinity to infinity and range is 3 set notation set notation that that is constant function second function is a linear function so what is linear? So linear function is when you have your function x should be power of x should be power of 1 x of that is linear right? So we have two types of linear functions either this one is we call it increasing and this one is decreasing Okay. When, when is linear function increasing? When we have a greater than 0, then the linear function is increasing. When we have a less than 0, then, then the linear function is decreasing. Right. So what is b here? So b here is y intercept. And again here we have b and b here is y intercept so the shape of linear function depends on the value of a either a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0 for domain domain for linear functions is from negative infinity to infinity and range for the linear function is negative infinity to infinity Cache the graph of the following functions, hence finds the domain and range. So this one is sketch. So for example 5.3a. So we have a fx equals to 5 minus 
works. Okay, so first one, we know this one is linear function. Why? Because x power of 1, second one increasing or decreasing. So this one is decreasing because a less than 0. Third one, check your intercepts. Right. So x intercept. So x intercept means when y equals to zero. So y zero x equals to. So y intercept x zero y equals to So we know everything here. So now we sketch. Label this one as x. Label this one as x. And this one is decreasing function. Use your ruler. Okay. Label this one as 5 on 2. This one is 5. Label function fx to 5 minus 2x 10 right this one is 5 okay finally done this one we sketch the graph so find the domain and range so the domain is negative infinity to infinity and range is also negative infinity to that is example 500. Okay. Next one is 5.3b. So we have a function which is fx equals to 2x, and this one we have the domain here, right? So first one. We know this one is a linear because of x power of 1. Second one, we know this one is increasing because a greater than 0. Third one, intercepts. Right, so x intercept y intercept right. so both are at the origin right this one but this one pay attention on here this one is actually the domain for the linear functions. We are given a straight domain, right? So our domain now is no longer negative infinity to infinity. So what we have to do here is we find the end of the function so for when x equals to negative 2 y equals to negative 4 and when x equals to 3 y equals to 6 
this one we sketch the graph so let's do this one as x do this one as We know this one is increasing. What we're going to do is straight line. We should roll it, please. Right. So this one is. This one should be so when x equals to this one is negative four. This one equals to six, right? And label your function. So your function is label some x. So what is the domain? Domain is here, right? But before that, right? Pay attention on the inequality sign here. So with this one we don't have the e equal sign. So this one we have equal signs. So play around with your empty dot and black dot. So for above three, you use the black dot here, and for Negative two here. You use the empty dot okay, because of the inequality sign. So our domain is negative two, three. Again, use your inequality sign. So this one is open bracket. This one is close bracket. That's your domain. And your range is what is your lowest value? Is negative four. What is your highest value? is 6 and 6 here coming from the black dot so it should be close and negative 4 here empty dot this one should be open right so this one i would like to remind you all of you but pay attention on the inequality sign 